The fall season in the Southeast brings with it the annual tradition of the fall supper. And the women who volunteer at the Pansy Hall have their hands full, preparing a Ukrainian feast that will be enjoyed this Sunday by as many as 1,200 people or more. The Pansy Fall Supper is essentially a fundraiser, proceeds of which are used to pay for things like building maintenance, insurance, hydro, as well as any needed renovations. The $11,000 usually raised through this event will cover all operating costs for the upcoming year. Leanne Germain serves as president of the Pansy Hall and says that their event is about so much more than just the food. It's a busy place. There's a lot of hard work that goes into this hall, but uh, it's a staple for the Pansy community because, you know, there's a couple churches and there's a hall, there's a park, and, you know, it's one of the icons of uh, Pansy. <laughs> Leanne, along with her mother Olga and fellow volunteer Rebecca, are busy chopping, frying, and stirring to ensure that nobody walks away from the table hungry. This uh, is a huge endeavor for us. We have been working for months, uh, basically taking stuff from our gardens, from pickles to marinated carrots to uh, potatoes, uh, you name it, our onions, our peppers for the coleslaw, everything is from our gardens. It's, it's amazing. And as well, just the food prep alone with the pierogies and the meatball bees and um, from what's coming up in the next couple of days, we, we, we got our plates full. The food prep truly is a group effort. Several volunteers from the community get together, as Leanne mentioned, to participate in food bees. So just how big a project is this? Let's just say we will uh, try and do uh, 4,800 meatballs. And pierogies? 800 dozen minimum. When you talk about 9,600 pierogies, that amounts to a lot of cream sauce. Yes, I have basically 80 liters of cream that we've purchased for the whole event and 35 liters of cream is just uh, made for cream sauce, which includes your onions, your butter, your dill, your garlic, whipped up. There it is. Those planning on attending the Pansy Fall Supper should plan to wear loose clothing and arrive with an empty stomach. There are 27 items in total on the menu, from fresh garden salads to traditional Ukrainian fare. And the food these ladies lovingly prepare has become quite renowned. They welcome guests from all over southern Manitoba. They've even served some from as far away as Australia and Ukraine. But for Leanne, it's the bus tours that make the trip out every year from Winnipeg that she most looks forward to. It's nice. It's nice to see the seniors come out and enjoy this. You know, a lot of them are living at home or in seniors' homes. They don't, they get their meals on wheels. They don't get to go out very much during the year. And when they come here, it's very nice. So how does Leanne feel when it's all over for another year? Exhausted. <laughs> but I also feel like, wow, what we do, what a couple people and our volunteers can do for, to make it enjoyable for so many people who look forward to this event. It's self-rewarding. I know it's a lot of hard work, but we don't give up.